Good day guys, Bing here and today let's model uh, a building look like this or curved wall and uh, okay so let's start so first create a project and here I'm going to just use some reference plan okay so RP and uh, roughly draw a shape like this so now I'm going to model a a mass okay a mass so um, reference line I'm going to use arc so um, something like this and another with a uh, curve and I'm going to select this one mirror to the other side okay and then also this one mirror to this side so this is the um, I assume that's uh, I'll just ignore that back part of this building or just uh, so this curve looks like it's a curve curve and then we're going to cut some hole in the wall okay so now if I select all these reference uh, line and create a form solid so you will see it's a solid form I'll change it to shade okay and then also you can adjust this so click on here so you can change the height so for example a meter maybe that's too high seven meter okay so now we need to cut some avoid okay so if you look at this it looks like it's just cutting on the you can do an uh, extrusion from here cut cut all the way to the other side so what I'm going to do is go um, go to ground floor and I'm going to place on a reference line but I'm going to use a uh, place on work, work plan and set work plan to the vert to this reference line okay so pick this reference line and um, east west uh, east there west is here so I'll use west open view and then I'll cut some um, draw a, a reference line so roughly um, I'm not sure I'll just turn uh, maybe here to here okay go back here and go back to the beginning so now if I go to 3d view so you will see this is the triangle shape I just did and create form void okay solid void and then go all the way to here and finish it and I use this cut cut this solid with this void so now this is the shape okay and of course if you want to change it so it looks like it's a bit low here maybe um, yeah I think that's okay I think that's okay so this is the mass so we can finish mass okay and then um, uh, actually let me just create this uh, void as well so, so opening here opening here so what I'm going to do is go to ground floor again and then uh, so sorry edit edit this mass go to ground floor reference line draw our work plan set work plan and pick a plan okay pick this this one so we're going to draw it uh, and in the front of this building so it's south okay open view and then we can place a reference some reference reference line I'll just draw a box make sure it's draw on work plan okay and then I'll draw something like this maybe 24 something like this so one void and another void up there so I'll have a look yep so seal high let me check the seal high uh, maybe I'll make it uh, one meter maybe and also head high of this I'll make it 24 okay so that's about it and then let's go back to 3d view uh, select this one and uh, create form void and solid 
so it will automatically cut, cut into the solid the mass see and also this one okay so create void form this one so that's that's it um, I don't worry don't worry too much about um, the depth of this void because we are going to also we can just uh, maybe uh, we can just increase the depth to where the in the wall is maybe so because you can create a wall from that but uh, if it's just a vertical wall like this I don't I won't uh, worry too much because I can just place a wall there so now this finish this mess and we can place some wall so I'm going to use um, a generic wall maybe I'll use this one. Okay, and then pick uh, pick face and pick face. Uh, we will see there's some issue here, but I'll leave it for now. Pick this wall, pick this, pick the up floor. Also, you will see this and the back wall. Okay, if if you want to, you can even pick the pick the in these walls. Okay, so like that. And it looks like that the uh, the old this is um, it's not creating an opening for us. So we probably so we can create these wall as well if we want to. But if all you can because they are just a normal straight wall, you can just create it yourself. So um, now we just need to fix these. Okay. So to fix this, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use a model in place. Uh, just normal model in place uh, uh, to cut away, not mess. Okay, so go to uh, go to ground floor first. Okay, so then model in place. So this time I'm going to use wall. Okay, so okay, okay, and I'm going to create a void extrusion and I'll set work plan first. I'm going to cut a triangular shape to match that void from here to here. So I'll set the work plan first and pick this reference plan and go to West and OK. So now we can see we need to cut away this bit. So I'll change this to shade so you will probably, oh, it's very light, you will see this wall here. So what I'm going to do is create Oh, sorry, I'm already here. So pick pick line and pick this edge, pick this edge, pick this edge. Okay, so let's go to 3D view. So and if I finish it, so you will see that it's not very thick, 2250. So we just need to drag this all the way. So as long as it's you know, uh, cut deep enough to cut the wall, that's it. That's and then you will need to manually, so it won't automatically cut the wall, you need to do it yourself. So cut and pick this wall, pick the void, and pick this wall and pick the void. You will need to move to here to pick the, so to find this void. Okay, so once you cut uh, something with a void, this void will uh, uh, become visible, oh sorry, become invisible. And you will need to move to the edge of the, so see where the edge of the wall, and find. You won't be able to find it here. See, you can't. You need to move to the edge of the solid part, and then cut that wall. So now that's it. And also, uh, looks like we need to manually cut this opening as well. So that's fine. Let's go to ground floor again. So I'll uh, actually um, I'll create another void here. So create another void extrusion. So but this time I'll set work plan because I'm going to cut it from the uh, the south elevation. So I'll use this reference plan, and then Revit will ask us to uh, pick the plan. So south, open view, and then so if you can't see, just change this to wireframe sorry wireframe or wf wf so see wf and then you will be able to pick the line uh, which one should i pick uh, i think it should be this one 
Okay, so now if I go to 3D view and finish this void, so you will see it's going that way, but it's okay, just drag this and then cut this wall, cut void. So now we created this opening. So finish and then that's that's it. So you still have this void, uh, sorry, mass here. So if you, so for example, if you edit this void, somehow you change, you need to change this uh, size a little bit. Let me just select, try, I'll try to select that uh, reference line. So yeah. So for example, change this, you need to change the size a little bit, that's fine. So once you finish, and you can select this wall and update. Uh, what's 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 going on here? Uh, don't show. Uh, let's click OK. Yeah. So see the wall will automatically match the mass. So and also you might need to adjust the void as well. But I'll leave it for for you. Sorry, leave it to you. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's it. Um, just a little exercise about um, using mass to create some curved wall with, you know, also with a, a generic model model in place uh, void to cut away some of you know, not the mass is sometimes it's the mass won't work uh, perfectly. So for now, just like this wall. I'll do it again. So if I create a wall and use pick face, pick this void face, it will create a wall. See, it won't match perfectly. You will need to uh, manually cut, uh, create a void to cut away this part of the wall. So that's that's it. Um, if you have a better uh, if you have better ideas or methods, please let me know. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.